started last match of the day for us on the mainstream. Last match of the group stages are all underway right now, so the results after this game will be finalized of who moves forward into the playoffs, and tomorrow we get into the best of three format for the quarterfinals. Yeah, this is going to be it, exactly. And it's do or die time, basically, for CLG. They need a big upset win here versus Envy. Envy need this to basically have, like, that top spot confirmed. They're 2-0 in their group. If they end at 3-0, there's no discussion. They're through first seed, and they'll get an easier match in the quarters tomorrow. So we shall see how things pan out. We're going oh. straight into the pistol, and what's up, Cutler? He starts off strong, just annihilate Smiths. Yeah, super fast drop from both the CT, but they ran into a rush that was coming the other way from CLG. And look at this pistol round, completely flawless. Cutler, the only one losing any HP, really, is he's down to 64, but Happy's the last that's left, just like that. He'll wait for the cross, but the bomb's already down. So the best he can do is kill the bomb planner. There's no way he can salvage this round. and down to 10 HP already as soon as he gets the gush. And he gets headshot. Yeah, exactly. Like right off the base, like, I can do this. I believe. And then they weren't having any of that. Flashes Sorry, in. Sorry, Kelly. Yeah, it's all over. not meant to. Oh, okay then. Cutler gets nailed, but that's that's as good as it's going to get. And Tarek will be able to clean things up. 1-0 now for Counter Logic Gaming. They pick up the pistol round, and that's the perfect start here for the North American team. That's exactly what they need. But hey, it's Envy. It what have they been doing yeah. all day long? Same oh, we lost the do. pistol. Let's go ahead and buy the big brother pistols with some Kevlar, and we're just going to destroy you. Except that they go for triple deeg. What? Kiyoshima at least has some sense. He goes for the 5-7, but three deagles? I don't even know what to think. And look how close shocks he wants to play with his P250. Oh, he hits that timing perfectly. Yep. Through, dodges the spam. Nate goes past him. He's completely perfect. There's no damage lost whatsoever against Shoxy. And it's only two rifles. They're up against the rest are SMGs. Now, SMGs is actually, this is one of the interesting things that a lot of people have brought up with Envy. That's one of the things that's kind of killed them as a team a little bit is that their eco hasn't been as consistent. And a lot of people speculate that the SMG buff really nullifies their ability to use the pistols in the second rounds. It's reading into it a little bit, but it's an interesting stat to look at for sure. So we'll see if those three SMGs can slow down these pistols right now. But Shoxi, again, he's just sitting there, hasn't even been spotted yet. There it is. And he pulls it off magnificently. Perfect headshot there for Shoxi to start. Checks boost as well, looking for that info. Not going to spot anybody, so at least he can communicate that to his teammates. But in the meantime, CLG working their way out onto that A site. FNS getting that smoke down to block off Speedway, and he's going to spot out the man on high. Goes for the spray, and NBK gone. Nothing doing. And then they come into A just like that. It's Tarek with the rifle, but the SMG does contribute just a little bit through, so leaves Happy. I was about to say leaves Kiyoshima as well, but he's already gone, and now Smith's is as well. They're going to drop all of them down. Happy almost had one HP to survive with, but they get two down, and where's the other rifle? They don't get to it, so they actually lost to Galil in that round. But then they made like you know pretty decent money right with the SMGs in the end. So at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem for CLG. They should be just fine in this situation because they managed they managed to get over the first hurdle, which is get through that second round. Don't let Envy catch you off guard with the pistols. You saw how passively CLG were playing it as well. They weren't giving any close quarters you know chances there for Envy where they can get within that one shot headshot range. They actually took their time, played it right. And in the end, they've got the lead going into this. And this should be another easy follow-up round for them. Although they, they're walking into the stack. And this is a little bit tricky here. But nicely done there by Tarek to start things off. Takes out NBK, who basically throws himself out into the open to get the information. And still, though, they stacked up because they've only spotted the one player that Tarek shot out. So they don't really know for sure yet that this is, in fact, a stack. They'll get Smiths now. But they're still going to check the corners. They still know this is a possibility. And Kiyoshima popping out. Low HP, 1 HP, in fact, gets at least... A kill to the name, but it's, it has to come right back into him. Happy, 6 HP, fights his way into another one. But again, the AK stays up. The rest go down. Do they secure? Yeah, didn't get there. The other AK, they tried to get it mid that time. Not meant to be, not meant to be. But still, 8,000 on Tarek at the beginning of that round, so it's not going to be too much of a concern. Hazed, really? Are you going to stay on that MP7? If you stay on that MP7, Hazed. This is one of those gambles, though, right? Because hey. if he stays on it and gets another kill, he adds more to the bank, be able to force out and drop for a teammate next round. But if he goes down, you know, if he buys a rifle and goes down, yeah. then he's already invested and lost. So this is like one of those weird decisions. I know, I know you don't necessarily agree with it, but it's that's the th thought process. Oh, for sure. That's the thought process behind it. Make that money. But there's no reason to be greedy in this situation. When you've got teammates with mountains of cash, just get that AK. They're going to have M4s. You know they're going to have M4s. Is it really worth the risk? Like, if you have a P90, okay, flush up makes it work. But in general, flush up goes for it on CT side. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's some weird stuff there. But in the end, it's not really going to matter. Smith traded one for one. But JDM, that's what we're talking about. Right going into this match, we were saying, this guy, he can have such an impact with the AWP. And we see it there. Double entry. Going to get sprayed down by Shoxy, though. But then that opens it up for the wraparound. Shoxy and Happy doing good work on this B side. But the bomb will get planted here any second now. And it should be a man advantage retake here for Envy. And now, I bet you anything that Hayes is wishing he had that AK. Yeah, and this is the thing, right? Because he goes down with it, it leaves just Cutler, and JDM might open up the round, but there's still three players alive, and Cutler has only nine HP after the first, but he, oh, he almost had the jump, he over 
reacted a little bit because Shox was looking the wrong direction. If he stayed cool on the aim there, he might have had a chance, but snapped back and fired a little bit too soon. How the hell does Shoxy run in there without looking left as well? Specifically when his teammate died right before that. Exactly. Like, is his teammate not telling him, by the way, that guy's at main entrance to be? Like, how did Shox, like, that, there was a real chance there for Cutler to just smack Shoxy in the side of the head and turn that into a 1v1. So a little bit too close for comfort there for Envy. Two guys surviving in the end, but they will be able to have that AWP there for uh, Smith. So we'll see how he fares in this round. There's the money, the bank basically getting spent up by CLG. But, you know, because of how well the first three rounds went, an AWP for JDM, no problem. And then four rifles, decent nade count. This is a fairly even round now between both of these teams. Yeah, and getting the op out two rounds in a row is, is hugely important. Again, you touched Ooh. on it last round. We touched like on it at the this. start. Yeah, the boost inside the site. Well, boost inside MVK. the site. But A execute smoke straight up here from CLG. They aren't messing around. They're going straight to the basics. But Happy's going to find one. Now, they know that's a boost, so there's going to be two there, which means the player coming out from Squeaky will look for MBK, but he's not moving. Happy's still looking. Where did that player that went to the left go? Finally, MBK takes him down. There was a real chance they could have got flanked out there, and I'm not sure how Cutler doesn't get those two kills, but either way, it's left to JDM with only the op against five, and does he try and save it in this position? He's already committed. They already know where he is. There's no one on his flank, but they're going to get right in his face. Yeah, there's a minute left there. That's got to be the Molotov. That's just got to be the Molotov. But then how are they not figuring out that, that that's like Happy's spot? Like you pre-fire that spot when you play versus Envy because Happy does it so often getting boosted up. So the fact that CLG just let themselves get picked off one after another. I mean, sure, maybe the Molotov is what's, ca is, is what's causing uh, them not to be able to spot, uh, spot him out. But damn. Well then, Envy, just big round there. Happy with a quad kill. He gets his AWP as well. So now double AWP here for Envy. But they're going up against Pistols. So CLG, they look like they want to just bum rush onto this site through Squeak. They've got four players setting up here with the bomb and a solo man over in A main, basically to draw anybody's attention over here. So the double up, see if it pays off. MBK's already looking toward that open door. Fall with Molotov in front of it won't allow them to push through. And after doing initial damage, Happy just has to lob the nade and to take down FNS. And it's MBK to pick up the rest because Happy's already done damage on the rest of them, but just by putting it into that close quarter position, door shut. Thanks, Happy. Never mind JDM, and Shoxy closes him out through the door once it closes. Doesn't even matter if they've got the vision. They tie it up that quickly, but after a save, Gun's going to come back out, and they actually have the money. Now, it would have to be bought and dropped by Hayes, and he's already gone for the AK, so JDM's going to have to be limited to a rifle here. JDM's like, guys, why didn't you drop me my, a my op? And really, you got to wonder, because JDM has such an impact with the op for CLG. Why aren't you dropping it for him? I mean, Hayes, just go Tech 9. Like, sorry, bro, take the hit. Like, give, give this guy an ops because if, he's, if he has stats like the ones he has with rifles, you want to get this guy the sniper rifle at all costs, pretty much. So, Well, JDM had enough money to drop him an AK in return, so he still could have had a rifle out of that situation. They might have lost a few utilities uh, on Hayes. He might have had to go settle for the had chest to go armor. Kevlar, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. But still, what. Whatever the call, CLG, they go full rifles. Maybe they just want to play, you know, a bit of a swift round here. So we'll see how that pans out. Happy's been spotted in the boost, lands the first shot, headshot onto JDM. So, well, I guess there's the speculation gone. Yeah. It's kind of Wouldn't matter if he had the op or not. It's already on the ground. Yeah. But uh, we have Envy also going for their tried and true, basically taking over mid. Three guys, fairly aggressive. Shoxy getting up close, right beneath boost, and then he's got Kiyoshima supporting him from vents. So this is, this is as bread and butter as it gets for Envy. So CLG, if they want to take over mid, they have to be aware of this. And yeah, they see that the vent's been shot out, but the timing, does Kiyoshima peek out at the right time? No, but FNS gets a bullet to the back of the head, basically. Definitely not expecting a crossfire there from Envy. Cutler coming back with the refrag. Has a bit of a chance here, but as soon as he opens the door, his head's taken completely off by NBK. Meanwhile, though, Hayes did find Shoxy, so there's still a bit of a chance here for them to work inside the site. Tarek needs to hold this, but he's got the bomb. He's desperate to get it planted, and he's going to get pushed. That pop flash out, though, Tarek. What a reaction shot. Gets it in before the flash even comes off. So now it's left to Hayes to just secure his position. 20 seconds left. They need to get this bomb down. And Envy's managed to work themselves back inside quad, which means it's so much harder just to get that bomb in position. Hayes is going to push through this smoke. And Tarek will be there for the trade if he needs to. But they're actually going to line up and Smith's right through both of them. How dare they peek like that? Two for one shot. The one way that they win that round. Because if Smith kills one of them, the other one is going to be able to get that refrag. And that should be a round for CLG. But a two for one shot for Smith's. Well then. And in that one round, he actually got, like, he's at three kills total right now. So Smith's got two kills in one round just off of one bullet. Okay. You know, you know that CLG is going to be pissed about that because that was the play. It was to go for the trade. They won the first trade, so Tarek didn't even have to 1v2, which was the initial plan should Hayes have gone down. Wow. I can't believe Smith actually got that. And after Tarek's insane flick shot that basically made it possible there, man advantage for Envy. Tarek hits a sick shot, brings it back to a two-on-two. -two. Definitely a winnable situation there. 
But Smith continues his reign of terror. He takes out Hayes. That's three shots now. Shanksy going to be able to pick off the one. Kiyoshima gets Tarek. And now Cutler trying to do the best that he can up here, but NBK is not having any of that. He gets dropped, and FNS now the last man alive rushing onto the B side. Just runs face first into Smith and his CZ 75. Five to three the score now. Envy, just standard anti-eco stuff from them. Nothing too crazy there. Whereas CLG now, after that round of eco, they're going to be up at six grand. Everybody's got the money. JDM should have his op, no problem at all. And now we got to see exactly what they have in store for us here, because they've tried the A execute. That's been shut hey. down now. Well, just to go back to that other round two where they lost on that lineup, that would have given the money in the last round. Potentially, we're at 4-4, four, four best case scenario here, but now Smiths has 11K. So they're going to be able to buy for a few more rounds on him alone just by forcing out. So oh, yeah. that makes a massive difference for momentum in this whole half. There's a real chance for Envy to pick up maybe two other rounds on that that they might otherwise not have had losing that round. No, it's very true. It's just you get that buffer on CT, and your confidence is going to start soaring. And again, Envy going for control mid. So this is very interesting stuff. Smith's going for the peak into B Hall's not gonna spot the man out for now, but Hayes is waiting for him in Toxic. And we'll see if Smith is patient with this, if he's gonna trust his gut feeling, which is basically hold this angle because I will be rewarded. I will find that kill to open things up. Hayes, though, playing this very carefully, just waiting to see if anybody's gonna be pushing. Instead, it's gonna be Envy getting impatient, though, and Shoxy figures out just what happens to the cat that got curious. He's gonna get clipped, and Cutler with the double entry, taking out Kiyoshima as well. Big plays there by CLG. But Smith's continuing on with the op in pretty good form. Picks up Hayes right away. NBK is going to cover off middle from highway. They want to try and get toward Vents here. Is that FNS actually takes down NBK with a nice place Pokeball. But hey, let's see if Cutler... This is interesting now because they've got the chance to split either site. They don't have a whole lot of information on B. I thought initially they would look toward Vent, but Happy's holding highway with the op. JDM has his back turned. I imagine they're going to flash him in. Smith's actually is coming around behind, though, and he's going to get the complete flank out. So the double op's up, and Smith, if he had to hit that shot, there was a real chance to pick this round back up. Instead, it's FNS up close. Don't need a peek. No need to peek. Play the time. Smith, he's just going to go forward. He's taking this fight with the Tech 9, and he's going to run right back into it. Can't reload in time, but this has actually done it. 10 seconds left. They're not going to have the time to get a bomb plant out of this, do they? They're barely going to be able to make it onto this site unless Happy it's can actually land the shot. He yeah. gets it. Happy saves the round at the last possible second for Envy. But Smith's with the backstab. What a round. Insane that Happy hits that shot. So cool. Didn't even like hesitate. Knew exactly when to peek. And man, just, just Smith's on the flank, double up, he gets behind them. They don't see him coming and they hesitate in mid. They had vents, they had B that much earlier. Of course, they don't know what we know, but they sit there and it goes down to 18 and then boom, I'm here, thanks to the bomb. That's like the one shot you have to hit though. Happy, man, that is so sick that he actually managed to pick that up. And Smith's really coming alive. Ever since he got that two for one, now he's up at eight frags. And that was just a couple rounds ago, so this guy's just going wild right now. Six to three the score. And Counter Knowledge and Gaming, they will have money enough to go for a full buy here, so we'll see what they're able to go for. But Happy going for aggression in Squeak to start things off. Unluckily for him, he's not really finding too much, but he's willing to go aggressive. He's willing to get out here. Is he going to hit the timing? Oh, he's coming around the corner. Spots out the man setting up, and he's going to get a bit too greedy there. JDM manages to turn in time and tr turn that into a one-for-one -one trade. Shoxy needs to win his duel versus FNS, but that's just not meant to be. And now, CLG are looking very good in this round. Bit surprised Happy went that far to pursue it, because the door was heard open. We saw the initial pop flash when he got into the hallway. So, more impressively, I'm surprised CLG didn't put someone on the aggressive side of the player that was throwing the Molotov toward the vents, because then they could have shut that down before it even happened. Instead, they had to trade, they had to lose a player when they could have just held the angle all along. So. Well, Happy should have just backed off after he got the entry frag, that's the, or like the opening, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's what should have happened, but yeah, sometimes you just want to go for a bit more. You feel it, you get that gut feeling, and as an opera as well, you got to trust that feeling. So this time around, it doesn't work out for Happy. Kiyoshima is bringing it back to a three-on-three, -three, but then that's just hazed, and he was alone on the B side. Instead, it's going to get a bit toasty over here for the man holding on A, and we'll see if they can come through. And, well, just so happens that they decide to line up for NBK, so he's just perfectly happy sitting in his corner, and he's going to spot out JDM as well. Runs out of bullets, so JDM lives just a little bit longer here. NBK, though, relentless, and he will find all three frags in the end with nine seconds left on the clock. CLG just getting choked out. From his default spot. I mean, CLG's got to be lamenting these rounds that they've had. They line up on Smith's. The bomb shot from Happy, that round they line up for NBK. They get that kill, they have two already in. The bomb's close to the site, they at least get a plant. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is starting to look grim. And those are three rounds that not only did they not win, which they could have, they didn't even get bomb plants. So now we've got another eco out. It's four tech nines, the B250 for Tarek. It's getting, I mean, this is getting out of hand. CLG had a really decent start in a lot of these rounds and just can't close them off with late decisions. And we'll see if they can overwhelm Happy right now. He's looking for the aggressive angle, misses that first shot, so there's a real chance they can train on top of him with these pistols, but he gets behind the forklift, goes for another one, switching back to the B250, hasn't landed it yet, but MBK's arrived. He's got two in the assist, making a third with the USB. But there's a helmet on Tarek. Not sure if NBK realizes this. Tarek down to half HP, and he's gonna get the knife! What? Kiyoshima kills him! 
All right, MBK. 1500 for MBK, negative 300 for Keo. Nicely done, Keo. That's, that's, that's how you reward teammates who are basically, you know, soulless, monstrous killers. You just shoot them. You let them do the dirty work, and then you clean up. Uh, NBK, good night. Sweet Prince. 13 kills on NBK, though, man. And that was also, I mean, brutal what uh, he did to Renegade earlier. So NBK, last two maps have just been stellar for him. Here's the early flash from Happy to slow this down. And I can't believe that Happy just persists in pushing forward. And again, he gets the first shot. He's oh, backing he's off, but he's blind full. And there it is. Hazed opening it up, taking two kills on the A side to open things now for CLG. Bomb still waiting in A main. It needs to get onto this site. So Hayes has to hold this until they can get there. And the problem is they've only got the one smoke deployed right now on the top of Highway. So if he pushes too far to the right with that Molotov's now placed out from Envious, he won't be able to secure Quad. And they're already arriving with Shocks taking down Hayes. They've got to get the site back. They still don't really have full control of the site. Now the bomb is planted, though. So they'll be able to play with this once that smoke dissolves, though. Envy in a good position with the man advantage to run in. Shoxy's going to go in aggressively. He's the one with the low HP, so he can bait himself out here. This is it. There's Shoxy. Man's going to trade one for one. And Smith's actually coming through with a triple kill. Takes out the first man on forklift, and then... Oh. What? <laughs> Cutler's All delayed Molotov to tactic. All he has to do is walk to the other side of the fire there. <laughs> He believed, won't matter. Man. They'll still have Kiyoshima. They've still got good money. In a tighter game, you might have called him out for losing a weapon there when he doesn't need to, but ultimately it's 9-3. Yeah, he's got the gun at the end. That's the, that's the big thing, right? Kiyoshima's alive. They saved the op, so they're still sitting pretty. I mean, you have two guys who are, who've got, like, close to 10,000, although Kiyoshima ends up spending quite a bit. He drops 9,000 in that round, so re-equipping everybody was fairly expensive there for Envy, but they're up at nine rounds now. They're getting to that sweet spot, right? It's, they're still coming out ahead in this half, no matter how it goes. CLG, even if they end up 9-6, Envy should be happy with that result. And finally, they get a punish on Happy for going straight up to boost like that. Can't believe that Happy does that three times in a row. That's just the game of chicken. He's like, they're totally not going to think that I'm going to do this again. You know what? So I'm just going to do it. I would say it's been more than three. I almost want to say it's been four now. It's yeah. been at least three. So, well, at least JDM that time around. Perfect opening, and they get the follow-up as well on Shoxi, who tries to go aggressive to try to bring it back. So Envy, down to three players left. This, I mean, this is cool for me to see as Smith's getting a little more aggressive, going French Rambo on, on a map like Cash. We see him do it on Dust a lot in the mid-doors, but it's, I haven't seen him do it quite in this fashion with this much confidence on this map in quite a while. Because normally what you see at Envy's defense here is just absolute relentless mid and then MBK to hold on to A. So this is a change of pace from Smith's, and it's working out for him so far in this game. Meanwhile, though, Cutler at least gets MBK down. But Keel holds B. He's the last one left. It's a one-on-four. Yeah, this is perfect. They know exactly where he is now because he got that kill on Hayes. It's almost like Kyo don't even kill Hayes just to keep them guessing. But they know that he's a B player as well, so it's not really a big mystery for CLG. And they're going to be able to get the bomb plant out of this pretty easy. Would be good for them to go and hunt, but at the same time, they have to know that Envy have like so much money, it's almost not going to matter. So, I mean, if you can get the kill without losing too much on your side, kudos. And so Finesse is on the hunt right now towards the B site. We'll see if he checks the right corner. He's going to walk right past it. Oh, he does actually check. Keo wins the duel regardless. So he's got two, he's got two kills now, and Tarek going to be able to spot him out and clean things up. So nicely done there by CLG. And basically just two very swift, uh, swift kills at the beginning of the round that just open it all up for the Americans. Or for the North Americans. North Americans. Got to get it right. It's all right. Technically, they are all American on that team as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, but, you know, North Americans, just so nobody's guessing, right? Yep. It's like Titan or French, right? Yep. Yep. I'm just going to agree with you on this one. Let you dig the hole for yourself. I'm not in that grave with you, bro. It's all you right now. Why, why would I place myself in that casket? Oh, I see how it is. More aggression. Yeah, no, I told you. It's, it's, it's sink or swim here, man. It's all me. I'm not a teammate. You know what's funny, though, is that once Happy goes for, he, he stops the boost rush, what does he do? He just goes and boosts on the side itself. I mean, he had so much success with it last time. Why not? Shoxy, though, Shoxy, they're going for the anti-boost as well, CLG. They're, they're spending 45 seconds basically just sitting around in back T-spawn, waiting to see if Envy are going to get cheeky and try and push anywhere. They've got Molotovs right now on CLG. I'd like to see them almost pull a Keed Stars, and when they fake onto the A site, throw the Molotov out toward the vent anyway to force that player back to B so it's a longer rotation point because they were playing that setup. Actually, okay, they've already dropped out of it, so it's 2 and B already, which actually might favor for CLG right here because they look to hit A, but that flash comes through. Luckily, FNS was there because JDM had no answer for that. Uh, he was caught just basically got in, no, nothing going for him. But still, CLG now with the man advantage. Still, the problem here for them is that 35 seconds left doesn't really leave them much time for a fake, so NBR just rotating hard for the A side. Three players on the side solid with a fourth man rotating through CT. NBK will get the spray down on FNS, and that's happy. Waiting in NBK corner, there's the split, there's the crossfire, and then they just happen to line up as well for NBK. Hold on, let's go ahead and make it a bit easier for you Frenchies. We know you like it, you know, basically like to be lazy, so here you go. 
as if it didn't happen enough in the first half. They're just going to keep on doing it. Kiyoshima will be able to get out of this alive, and Hayes gets shot in the back by Happy. So there you have it. 14 rounds in, 10-4 for Envy, and all just falling apart for CLG. We're going to get a force buy out of them in the last round. Yeah, I mean, it's just, this is a game that slipped away. The last couple of rounds haven't even really been as close as the start when we saw things looking a little bit interesting. We're going to see a bit of a force. Like you say, we've got Tech Nines out. There's an AK on Cutler. JDM goes for the Galil. That was a round he had the op too, so we're still not even seeing him really get the impact kills that he normally gets with it in these situations. This is brutal. And uh, it's also an excellent call on Envy's part. Just go A. Stack three on A. The man in mid as well, just quick to rotate. That's, that's all you had to do with Envy. It was a bit of a gamble. If it turns into B, they have to play retake. So that time around, it works out perfectly for them. And well, we'll see. Shoxy survives the first encounter, but then uh, gets overwhelmed by Cutler. Luckily for him, NBK is there to patch things up. And they maintain that man advantage now, Envy helps that Happy takes out Cutler as well. So now we have to see if Hayes is going to get any joy over here on the B site, but he has no idea that there's a man hiding in the smoke right now. Flash comes through. It's popped. They're both blind. Who responds first? It's Smith to turn back and find out exactly where JDM is. And with Kiyoshima taking down Hayes, that's it. 11-4. That's the half. Brutal. Just brutal slaughter here happening in the first half. 11-4 scoreline for Envy. That is way too much. CLG, the, like the minimum they need out of this first half is seven rounds. Minimum. And then, and there's three rounds that we talked about. They're, they're going to lament and, and very easily could have been there. So oh, man. It, it was, I mean, it was there to have. It really was. And a, a team ace as well to close things out. Everybody getting a piece of the action in that last round. Oh, uh, yeah, CLG just never really heading over to that B site, actually. Just a lot of A site from them. And, well, you're basically feeding the beast, natural born killer, sitting at the top with 17 kills, six assists, and nine deaths. It's just more of the same from NBK. And Happy as well. Smith's doing good work. But yeah, everybody's fired up right now for the Frenchman. Whereas CLG, now they need a strong start here on the CT side. And they're going for a bit of a halvesy approach to it as well. Three Kevlar and a bit of utility. No kit, though. So they need to count on just denying Envy completely. So FNS is going to watch in the doorway. They've got a bit of a stack on the A site. Three players directly in it. One on the highway for a quick rotation from Counter Logic's perspective. But there's three inside that door. And when it opens up, they're going to flood through. So what's the answer going to be? In fact, if they had a Molotov, it'd be perfect. And then, yeah, there you go. There's a fourth one coming in from A main. So four players. The one Lurk player is actually happy. Surprise, surprise over at B. And on the way through, it is CLG that shuts it down. FNS and JDM pick up a kill apiece. Now it's JDM to double up. As Tarek still looking for a piece of the action in behind Quad, he's yet to find it. One player, Shox, has managed to slip by, but Cutler's caught him in the act. It's left to Happy. Let's see what this Lurk can really do, because already they're searching for him, and Hazed, he guesses that he's obviously not come with the rest of his teammates, so looks back toward his own spawn and spots him. Yeah, that wasn't a Lurk, it was a Lark. I, happy is just, just roaming around, not really doing anything. I mean, what can he do? CLG gamble big. They put four guys basically on that A side in the pistol round. Just like if Envy walk in there, this is the result. They just get completely stomped into the ground. Happy not even going to get anything out of that. A perfect pistol round here for CLG to start off on the CT side. And that's not going to make anything easy here for that's Envy. That's two pistols now for CLG. Not a single kill for Envy as well. So even if they go for the Tech 9 buy right now, they're, they're going to have to skimp a little bit. Or, the, or Yeah, exactly. Or somebody has to take the hit and go for a P250 just so they can have a couple of nades. They're so light on money right now. And this is it. So Envy, a single flash, a single smoke. What is the play? Well, one of those smokes already used inside mid as well to slow down. Happy from CLG at least, but... Where's Shock's gonna head? Here it is, bounce. So they'll cover off red, they'll flash in as well, try and get three out the doorway and just go for a fast plant. That has to be the, the impression here. And they actually might get it, because this is a really passive hold from CLG, so the bomb could easily go down here as Cutler's falling all the way down highway just to make sure he's not going to be flanked. Oh, this is sexy stuff from CLG playing for retake right now. Then there it is. They can even just deny it. Use the nades. They have the nades. They're going to be able to take advantage of that. FNS at range. They're just taking long-distance fights. What are you going to do with your Tech Nines, bro, when you're dealing with the FAMAS? I, not a single thing. Happy finally manages to take one player out, but again, he's the last man, and that was a lurk. So the impact that it's going to have on this round is just nil. They do get the bomb plant, though, and that is a big play there for Envy. The fact that they actually succeed in making a little bit of extra money out of this, they'll have that going for him. If Happy can live through this, that's actually pretty big, and he will. So I don't know why JDM wouldn't pursue that. Well, just he doesn't want to throw away the FAMAS, right? He dies, he gives the FAMAS. He's, he's willing to let Happy live I with suppose. 1,500 I mean, I, I would, right? I, I just I, confidence level there. I mean, he knows he has the rifle against a pistol. I, I don't know. I, I could see most players taking that fight, but I, I understand the thought process behind it. I'm just very surprised he didn't just go for it because he knew he had the drop on him. And that was, that was some really sexy CS there from CLG. 
And well, now this is just trying to prompt a, a bit of a quasi buy coming out from Envy now, willing to invest in a little bit more in the in the nade department, going for the pistols as well. So no surprise there, and they're just going to keep going towards a site. So basically, it's all about the pointy letter in this matchup, Sato. That's that's it. Nobody likes the round voluptuous letter at all, apparently. Well, we do have Hazed out with the M4. Right now, he's one of the players inside the A site. Actually, he's over B. I take that back because I misread the overlay, but in they come, and it's Cutler to slow them down. JDM bails him on the second player, but then he turns back and takes down MBK himself. Shoxy finally gets something done. Has to push quad, and no answer from JDM. Ooh. What another one! Shoxy, how does he pick up three in a row with the P250? Now there's a real chance in the round for them, but never mind. Take it back. Tarek saves the day as Shox goes down to the nade. Good God, Soxy. Okay, then. Soxy heard me, apparently. He just got pissed off. He's like, you want to see some sexy CS sampler? Here, let me demonstrate what you can do with the P250. Wow. All right, then. And also, just a bit of a fluke there by NBK, not being able to pick up that kill for free. And the man standing in his own corner as well. But whatever. All that's aside, now we get into the thick of it. Now it's going to be rifles picked up here for Envy. A scout on NBK. He's willing to make that use of that gun. Where it's going to be a it's double. Scoot sampler. It's a scoot. modified version for you're SWC Montreal. Right. You're right. Sorry. You know. I don't, I don't know what I'm on a boot right now, you know, it's, I, gotta, I gotta get it right. But right, there's a trade, and wow, actually, there it is, the trade. FNS doesn't let Shoxy get away from that. I thought for a second Shoxy might live. So FNS now actually has to shoot up highway. They do actually win over mid, Envious right now, just by getting that one kill down inside of it. Now FNS gets back into happy, but still has to work this with 4 HP, and there's no one else to help him from inside Z Connector, because they haven't rotated out of the B yet. Although that might turn out to be the right call. Because so far it looks like they want to back toward Vents and with Finesse pushing down to at least get this information, he's going to be able to tell Tarek that they are heading that direction. The problem is he's playing outside the site, but hitting Smiths regardless through the smoke drops the bomb, gives him a bit more time to rotate to heaven. It still will allow MBK to recover it and get the plant, though. There's 48 seconds. They're still going to get this inevitably, but it does buy some position and some space for CLG. In fact, Tarek went all the way, the long way around to get behind FNS. So FNS will go in and Tarek will be right on his heels, and they may not expect that having... They hear it. That's the thing. But then the shot. MBK takes the peek. There's Kiyoshima managing to pick off FNS, and it's going to be that 1v1. Tarek needs to guess right. If Kiyoshima catches him off guard, there's a shoulder peek. Draws it out. Oh, this is wild. This is crazy stuff. Now, Kyo, if he can just play ring around the rosy, he's going to get caught off guard. Tarek runs forward, and he's got the kit as well. He will have time for the defuse. What a clutch round there from CLG. Bringing it back. They're going to get eight rounds on the board. And what an overpeak from Kyoshima because he would have heard him coming, but he just anticipates a little bit too soon that he can get the drop on him. And when he slides out, Tarek's already passed him. So he can't react fast enough. He's not Hiko. <laughs> yeah, he is human after all. Man, what a round from Tarek to go the long way around, too, just to completely change the pace, because the thought process that I even expected was for him to go to heaven after hitting that first shot in the connector and having it smoked off, just get in position to allow FNS to potentially do something. Instead, FNS just runs in, and Tarek's there to hit another beautiful shot with the op. I think that's the main thing. I'm just surprised that NBK is facing at that point, because Kyushima might have... He should have heard, I think, two people dropping down into Checkered. Maybe, maybe Tarek was just a little bit too late there for them to be able to communicate properly. Regardless, that's going to set Envy back a little bit. That's definitely going to ring them up. And now 11-8 the score. Envy did, do manage to get a buy out of this. Full rifles, but the nades pretty light. At the same time, though, CLG are using quite a few of their nades early on in the round. They don't have any smokes left. What is this? They have HEs and flashes and a single incendiary. What? the hell happened to all CLG smokes? Yeah, they've already got the baited out, and they haven't used, they don't have that much utility on their own side, so the fact that they're gone makes their job a lot easier. Tarek gets the first shot, but Hayes going down, it's already smoked to the cover, forces Tarek to have to win the duels, he's got to kill and another assist, tries to jump out with the USP, but Kiyoshima is there, allows FNS though to come out on top of the catwalk, they're heaven, and now he drops in and gets down Kiyoshima as well, so really good job from Finesse this round to pick up three, but the flank from Happy almost catches him off. Now he's giving himself up. That single shot from the AK bomb down on the site. They've got this in control, the CLG. This should be an impossible situation for Happy to win. Finesse holding here from B Halls, and then, of course, the AWP on JDM. It should be easy peasy, but they missed the shot, and Happy's going to be able to sneak his way onto the site. He missed the bomb, though. If only he could have picked it up, he could have planned a default and then just been, well, fine, but... Where, where, can he not find it? He gets the first kill. He brings it back to a 1v1. 10 seconds left. He's got the bomb now. He can go for the plant and draw this out. Gets the reload as well. 10 and seconds and 10, 10 HP, but he thinks it's going to be faked and peaked, and now we may not what? have time. He Did he miss time. it? He Happy! Missed it. What is this? Happy throws the round. I can't believe that. I cannot believe he wouldn't just hold that, knowing he's all the way out in B main. He took down the high HP player, 10, 10, and I assume that he thought, all right, easy. He's going to peek me. He has to try and force the time against it. But why would Happy even fake that? It's not his job to force that round. It's the other way. It's completely on FNS at that point. Incredible. Just incredible. And he goes for the... Oh, well, you know, sometimes you, you see it in the, in, in, the, in the split second. You see how things are going to pan out for you. 
and that time just did not work at all. Incredible stuff, man. But this is really just such a close match now. Envy, they go for a bit of a quasi here because they don't get that plant. They're just going to invest in Kevlar Helmet, a couple of pistols. They have the AK on Happy as well, seeing as how he held on to that from the last round. And there we go. There's the bait. Shoxy goes leaping past Smith, just randomly spraying. Does a bit of decent damage, but Shoxy full flash, just shooting into the wall. No effect. Happy will be able to take out Cutler, but then FNS strikes back. And NBK, this is just back and forth. We're into a two on three. NBK's got a FAMAS to work with, but FNS is still alive at quad boxes. So this could, this could get a little tricky here for Envy if they decide to force the issue. And they're not. So far, they're not. Yeah, they're heading back toward mid, but they've also got a presence here because look at Hazed. He's gone all the way up from B, so CLG is actually taking map control when it's given to them, which is very encouraging to see on their CT side. But, okay, yes, they got information. They just lost that player. This forces them into a 2-2 situation. And I'm hoping that they group up because rather than two one versus twos, playing a two-on-two would be a much better situation. If they have to play for a retake, go for it. FNS, though, finding MBK. That makes it a little bit easier. I'm surprised that MBK goes out like that. That's confidence as well, but also just... Now it gets a bit tricky for Kiyoshima. He's looking to get a... Oh, he's full on a past one here. FNS has no idea. FNS is expecting him to come through A main. He turns, but not fast enough. And now Kiyoshima goes charging up CT towards that A site, turning his back. He takes the fight with Tarik Lord. Rage and just wins it flat out. Triple kill for Kyo and a big win for Envy on a quasi buy as well. Quasi buy, bomb still up. I mean, that's, that's impressive that that fight even took place, but makes up perhaps for the fact that Happy tried to take the fight in a round he shouldn't have, so... Goes both ways. It's Envy now on 12. Nine for Counter Logic and no money. I mean, look how fast it goes out of their wallets. It's just completely down to default, in fact, with one flash on FNS and a 5 7 for Cutler. That's it. And wow, it's going to be A stack. There's the flash. Flash should be coming in any second. They're just going to look to catch out Envy. There's the rush, and there's the push, and everybody's full flashed on Envy, but then you got a bunch of AK bullets, and goodbye, good night. <laughs> so CLG's going to have to rotate off that. We'll see if they can respond to anything. Nope, not at all. FNS just goes down. Everyone stays alive. Not even a gun dropped. So not only are they on a full save, they do no damage to the economy of Envious. And it's going to start to grow. It's going to start to swell up to the point where they can, you know, buy into the next round. And, and they've got to break and get momentum fast here on CLG's side. Yeah. Oh, wow, man. This is, this is risky stuff. This really is touch and go. And this is basically CLG drawing that line in the sand saying, yeah, we could save for 14 and get JDM and off, et cetera, but we want to have a, a round buffer. We want to be able to actually have a little bit of room to work with. But then they're not going to give them any breathing room here, Envy. They go straight into mid. NBK flash behind, and Tarek is gone. Triple stack on that A side as well. But FNS is starting to rotate back into CT. Interesting fact to point out that CLG went for the force here. Obviously, they're close to that 14th round. In the game they lost earlier to Renegades, it was 13-8 for them on CT. They lost 16-13. For those of you who didn't hear me mention that in the interview with Hazed, one of the things they did is forced for three straight rounds and took themselves completely out of it. So if they can win this force, hats off to them. But the fact that they're sticking to that tactic, now this time they're behind. Last time they stuck to it when they were ahead. It's, it's almost like a CLG. It's like a bad habit for them right now to just be continuing these force buys. Well, this uh, pressure situation is also a lack of confidence in your ability to close it. You're willing to give Envy one more round, basically, so you can get that big buy in. But CLG not willing to go for it, but right now they're actually making a good call. They've got two players waiting on the B site. And this is a three-on-three -three situation. Envy, however, they put the bomb into mid. They're going to put two up short towards the A site. It's just NBK. They've sacked them. They've left them behind. They said, NBK, we sacrifice you for the greater good. Go ahead and get the job done. <clears throat> Smith, so he gets the job done against JDM, and that bomb is going to be planted all the way inside the site close to CT side. The last player, Finesse, he's got problems because not only does he have two inside the A site, he knows that the last player spotted was over at B. So he's going to get flanked out in a matter of time. So he goes for the AK, has to force the issue, and he can't even do it. So it's 14-9. They're one round above MBK's prediction, though, by the way. So sorry, Nathan. You're glad you gave yourself a buffer. You didn't go for that 16-3. You were saying it's, uh, it's looking all right for CLG, I guess, in that way. If they win with 14-9, I don't think MBK is going to worry too much about that, mate. Listen, man. I was more just thinking a stab at you for saying it was going to be like 16-3. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't even have gone that far, man. But in your mind, right, MBK, he's just like zero respect. And well, so far, their T side is just looking phenomenal. And they, they're going to have to force Tarek out into the open. And this is an eco round coming Ooh, out from CLG. Aid. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Envy just powering through. This is a stack on the B side, though. So Envy, we'll see if they wisen up if they decide to take this fight. Smith's just powering in, however, takes out FNS. And they're figuring it out. That bomb now, they're committed. But then everybody's just dying anyway. So Envy, pretty pleased with that re result. 15-9 the score. And we go into match point. And there's a lot of match points to come as well here. If CLG can bring this one back, we shall see. I mean, JDM's got that off now. Yeah, I mean, I mean this is the crazy thing for CLG. This, we talked about this ha potentially as a must-win game. Yeah. In the event, you know, that Renegades is already doing well in their match against SK right now. So, I, I mean, if that 
is the situation that CLG go out in groups after a good performance last weekend. It's going to sort of discredit that. And the fact that they threw away a lead that was quite substantial to Renegades is a bit concerning. Envy, all right. Maybe on paper, well, on paper for sure, you'd look, you'd look to Envy to win this. But maybe this was expected. The one against Renegades when you're again, like that's a 50-50 game. When you're that far ahead, you have to close it in these situations. In the best of one group stages, you need every win. So to give it away, it's a problem. And now it's going to be match point. Look at Smith just walking in. Finesse and Cutler can't do anything. He's going to get the bomb down himself here. Why don't they play for retake, CLG? Why don't they play for the retake rather than challenge like this? They get, JDM basically gives them that round. And then CLG give two quick kills back to Smith, who's just hitting shots all of a sudden. And now it's a three-on-three -three retake scenario here for CLG. They've got some nades, though, so they have that going for him. Happy, though, is going to start things off by taking out JDM. The boost at the back. And Tarek peeks out. Tarek with the double kill, keeping his cool. Shoxy, though, is the last man alive, and the bomb is planted for him. There's a flash, there's a smoke, and it's going to get a bit tricky. Tarek decides to take the fight. Shoxy's headshot. Does he know that the defuse is happening? Don't think he bought enough time here. It's going to be kind of get pretty close. The bomb is ticking down, and there will be time in the end. CLG managed to clutch it out, and Hazed saves the off of JDM as well in the end. Well done by him. Good round to get that initial fake to force him out through the smoke as well and just cut it close <laughs> on the time. Haters fuel me. That's what Hazed named his M4A1. Hats off to you, sir. That's a good name. Well, they at least hit double digits. We'll see what they can do. They still have money, obviously, on Envious' side right now with the five AKs. JDM, though, he's got his off. Let's see if he can use it. They're going to flash through again. We saw MBK go through the smoke aggressively before in middle and win the duel, but Cutler this time has a different position, and the smoke's in a bit of an odd place as well because there was a gap on the left side of it as well as the right. That allowed Cutler to shoot through from Z Connector. So that was a bit of a gap or a misplay there from Envious. Either way, it shocks to come back up and catch JDM on highway, and they could try and split the site. They've got a player at quad, or excuse me, on forklift. That's the only player inside. In fact, FNS, and he backs himself in A main, hoping it's going to be a little bit more clear than it is because Happy's waiting for him, and now they have to play the retake again with two players. They just lose Cutler as well, who's way ahead of his, his teammates on the rotate. Yeah, and now that's, this is, you know, if it looked slim last time, hazed, Tarek, they got their work cut off for him this time. Man advantage here for Envy. Plenty of time for the after plan, and even a couple nades, two Molotovs as well. So even if they start losing players here at Envy, they just need to run the clock down, throw a Molotov on the bomb, start standing up and cheering because there's not going to be a damn thing that CLG can do about it. Terra getting a great headshot on Smith to start, oh. and Hayes taking out Happy. All of a sudden, it's Shoxy once again in a 1v2 with the op, and he's going to hit that shot. Oh, Hayes, he just hit the edge of the forklift. He had that lined up perfectly, and Shox wins on that alone. That's frustrating. But Shox, what a clutch by him. Yeah, all smiles in the end for sure. Shocks he managing to come through. That definitely was a bit touch and go there. That's Envy getting ahead of themselves because again, it's like throws after throws from both teams. And MBK is usually like, well, you know, they peaked first and then, and then we peaked first and then oh well, then we, you know, we had to we had to actually win it in the end. But they they certainly made it interesting uh, there. So. And I mean, Tarek long range with that accuracy made that all possible. But again, I mean, they had that peak. They had shocks. He figured out. And he just clips the edge of the, the forklift. I'm sure that one bullet that did get the penetration damage that wasn't the clean shot yeah. might have been the difference to win the round right there. It could have easily gone away from it. And then shocks with the op. Easy pickup. I'm gonna let you run. I'll just keep oh, on that's talking. Fine, it's fine. Dude. You're gonna just we do got it over here. Of time. All right. Because uh, well, Bobby, basically we're They're gonna still be shaking hands. We're gonna over. Exactly right. We got plenty of time here, so. A well-deserved win there for Envy Should I just, like, get end. up and let them come over here instead? Let me just have them chill at the desk. Uh, no, maybe we should go up there and just close.